partner. So it's like, so I gotta be like, hey guys, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Mr. Bobbin and to, and, <laughs> <laughs> and in today's video, I'm going to be making a skirt for the very first time using mohair and merino wool. Right. Yeah. Just like that? Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Mr. Bobbin here and into. <laughs> Let's get it, Joey. Hide me up, hide me up! <laughs> so, mohair? Yes. This is mohair. Yes, yeah, because it's hairy. Just think of it. Okay, so mohair and merino wool. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alright, alright, you ready? Yes. You really gonna open it in the video? Yes. Alright, let's get it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Mr. Bobbin and in today's video, I'm going to be making a skirt for the very first time using merino wool and mo- <laughs> Okay guys, it's actually mohair and merino wool, not merino wool and mohair. But I am going to be making a, a skirt for the first time using mohair merino wool. So yesterday I just finished I finished this tank top using mohair merino wool yesterday because if you don't know I'm going to be recreating a, a three-piece like outfit from a movie that I've seen and I'm sure a lot of people have seen so I'm recreating that outfit and it's a three-piece so I finished the tank top and in today's video I'm going to be making a skirt and then the next piece will be a cardigan so that's really like all for the intro i've never no it's not so i've never made a skirt before so this will literally be my very 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 first time and i have no idea what to do but i'm going to give you guys like what i want like my vision so my tank top stops about like right above my belly button so i want my skirt to start like right below that so that will be my ribbing and then i want it to be a mini skirt so it'll come maybe like maybe stop like right above my knees so that's my vision for that i feel like it's gonna be super easy i don't know because I know I want to make my ribbing and then maybe increase a little bit for my small hips. I'm just going to do, I'm just gonna do whatever. So I'm, you guys are just gonna follow along with this and see if it actually turns out good. I don't know because I've never made one, but I feel like it is. I feel like I know what I'm doing enough to make it look good. So we'll just see. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's get right into it and that was my brother in the beginning by the way he wanted to well we both plan the intro but he sucked we tried so many times and he had one job I'm right, my right before we prepared <laughs> I told him mohair and merino wool and this dude straight up <laughs> said merino wool and mohair but other than that I guess he did good I guess Appreciate it. but yeah so Let's get right into the video. So, that's what you say. Let's get right into the video. Oh, so, let's get right into the video. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, so I am currently on my way to Big Haas. So, but I'm going to be starting, I started my ribbing in the car yesterday when we were going somewhere but i started my ribbing for the skirt already and i actually need to measure myself but anyway i'm just gonna continue my ribbing until it fits around you know the front part of my waist and hopefully i can get that done in the car the drive to vegas is like three hours but we're listening to music and stuff so through all the singing we'll see if i'll get that done so <laughs> So I'm finally in the hotel now. So now I'm getting ready to crochet now. 
I crocheted in a car a little bit, but not really. I didn't really get a lot done. This is all I got done. So, yeah. And now I'm just going to, I'm going to stay up and try and finish this, try and finish this ribbing tonight and hopefully start on like the increasing part for my hips. So I'm just going to be chilling for right now, not really saying anything and just crocheting, trying to get this done. So let's get it. So guys, I finished my ribbing finally after 100 years of crocheting and now I'm going to start the actual skirt part. So like I said before, I have never crocheted a skirt before or made a skirt before so I have no idea what I'm doing. So I was asking my sister and like and she has never done it the way that Malik wants to do Yeah, so she's I'm never <laughs> done it like the two panel way. I'm doing two panels because I'm not doing that roundabout stuff. Because every time I do that, my stuff always <laughs> ends up <laughs> my stuff always ends ends up like super big and like it doesn't go anywhere. So I don't know. I don't know. I know I'm doing it wrong, but I don't even have time to try and fix my mistake. So I know two panels will work perfectly fine. So that's what I'm gonna do. But I think I'm going to increase like on the second row. I don't know how like, I don't know how many rows I wanna increase for. Cause I don't have wide hips to be increasing like that. But I do want my ribbing to be a little more cinched than the rest of my panel. So maybe I'll increase for like five rows or something. I'm not sure, but I'll just see how it looks when I'm crocheting so we'll just see how it is but that's what I'm gonna be doing right now so let's get started So this is how it's starting to look like on the ends and now I'm just going to continue half double crocheting across until it measures like right above my knee because I want it to be a mini skirt if I didn't say that already. It's going to be a mini skirt so I want it like kind of short and then I'll just do another panel and be done with the skirt. So I feel like I am going to finish the skirt here in Vegas hopefully so after this I can just get started on the cardigan right away which will be great. But now literally it's the boring part. I'm just going straight across and until it fits me. So hopefully this method works. I'm not following a pattern if that wasn't obvious. This is just me and my brain working together to make a skirt for the first time. So let's get it. <laughs>
Okay guys, so it is the next day and I've got in I've gotten this far into the skirt. You can see like where I decrease, I mean increase, you know, for my little hips. And now I just, like I said last night, I just keep going down. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to be crocheting for like the rest of the day. So hopefully I can get this skirt panel done and start on the other one tonight. So I could possibly finish by at least tomorrow night. And then I can start the next panel, you know whatever whatever and then hopefully i can get done with the entire skirt by the time this trip is over by friday so it's sunday so hopefully by friday which i should be done because doing a skirt i mean it's just it's so easy but hopefully i can get that done that would be awesome so let's just get right into it i have my ipad here ready to watch supernatural and crochet so yeah and i'm wearing a crop top Ugh. I'm so used to wearing baggy clothes. But anyway, let's get it. Okay guys, so this is how the skirt is coming out so far. Ta-da. So, okay. Okay, perfect. So, now I need it to just go all the way up right above my knee so i still have a really 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 long way to go but here is some visual of how it's going to be Ta -da. Ta -da. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna show you guys how the skirt looks. So, this is how it looks. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stop right here because I looked at the recreation picture and her skirt is like short. So, I'm just gonna keep it right here. And if it rises, then it just rises. It doesn't matter to me because honestly, this is a really good length and it's a mini skirt. Anyway, oh. Oh. that's how it's gonna be. <laughs> That's how it's gonna be. And now I'm going to start, well, I'm not gonna start on a second panel tonight, but, oh, that's so cute. But I'm gonna start on a second panel tomorrow, but I'm happy I finished the front panel. So now I have to count all my rows because I was not counting as I crocheted because that would just make me slower. So now I'm gonna count all my rows that I did and 
then I'm just gonna chill. So, bye. Okay, guys, it's the next day, and now I'm getting ready to start on the second panel. This one? Yeah, the second panel of the skirt that I'm working on. And hopefully, not hopefully, I am going to finish my ribbing like today. If I don't finish anything, it will be my ribbing. If I don't start on a panel, I will finish my ribbing anyway. So I'm just going to grab my crochet hook and my scissors my scissors and get started on that let's get it Okay guys, so I finished my ribbing. Now I'm about to start the panel. This didn't take as long as I thought. And it's 9-11. It's 9-12 and now I'm going to spend maybe like two more hours on <laughs> Sorry. the panel. And then I'll I'm go to sleep. So we'll see how far I get, okay? See ya. Okay guys, it's the next day and I got this much done. I literally only have 10 more rows to do, which is exciting. I got more than halfway done with this last night or yesterday period, which is amazing. So after I finish, after I finish these 10 rows, I'm going to put it together and then I'll probably show you guys how it looks because I showed the tank top. So yeah, I'll show you guys how it fits and looks on me and that'll be it for this video. So I'm honestly gonna end this video out here, which is crazy. And then I'll be starting on my cardigan, which will most likely be my next video. So let's get it.
last row completed. Woo. Finally done with the second panel. So that's how it looks. And now I'm going to go get the other panel real quick and then put these two together. Second panel. Well, technically the first panel. And second panel. Ta-da! This actually looks like it's gonna be big, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna slip stitch it together. No, I'm going to, what's it called? Stitch mark it together and then see how it looks like that. Okay. Okay guys, so, <laughs> hold on, let me do this so you guys can really, really see. Okay, so this is the skirt. It's huge. Okay, so it's big because I did like my exact, exact measurements, but using this yarn is super stretchy. So I should have just used the method I usually do, but I was trying to do like a new method, but I'm not going to do that anymore. But this skirt is literally huge, but other than that, like it's perfect like are you kidding me so I stitched marked it on the side together but I'm just gonna like cinch it so tight when I slip stitch you know the panels together so that when I put it on it's gonna be like yeah. it's gonna yeah. and then my skirt will be like this but either way it looks really good it's just not my size so next time I know what to do next time I'm just going to slip stitch it together and then I'll show you guys how it looks after. But literally, if I don't hold it, like, if I don't hold it up, it's literally just, it's gonna fall. I'm taking this much like literally you know usually you would want to slip stitch like right here but literally I'm slip stitching all the way down here so that when I flip it over you know it's it's cinched good so literally that's how far I'm going along with it to make it tighter Fixed the skirt, and this is how it looks now. Dang, that looks good. Ta -da. Like, I could cinch it more, but I'm literally only wearing this for a picture, one single picture, so it doesn't really matter. I just wanted it to fit me, and it fits me now without me having to, like, keep it up, so that's what matters. And this will be the last time I actually put the skirt on before I take pictures because I don't want to like keep stretching it because it's such a stretchy fiber which I didn't like realize it was this stretchy so I'm just going to keep it like this and yeah I just wanted to show you guys how it looks and then the next time you see me with the skirt it'll be with my tank top skirt well like this and then my cardigan with it so ta-da first time making a skirt kind of successful I would say but anyway Oh, anyway. That's it for the video? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but anyway. <laughs> anyway, that is actually it for this video. That's crazy. I actually, like, 
finished it here so thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i post another video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye